Hello and Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Firdaus bin Muhammad Fauzi. Today I want to present or discuss uh, about our group project which is designation of what order band pass active filter circuit. So we are from section 4 and group 5. This is our group members. Me, Muhammad Firdaus bin Muhammad Fauzi. Kuvarasan anak lelaki Ramasami dan Loh Chin Yi. So uh, my part which is introduction so I will explain and present about the introduction for fourth order band pass filter. A filter is a circuit designed to pass or amplify a signal with a desired frequency while attenuating other frequency. Uh, what we learn, we have two four filter which, which is passive filter and active filter. For active filter is an analog circuit, use active component, amplifier to implement an electronic filter. Active band pass filter can be created by cascading together a single low pass filter and a single high pass filter. We use software multi-SIM for specif specification value for our group is mid-gain 80, cut off frequency FL 1kHz, I cut off frequency FH 10kHz. The next, uh, important, important of bandpass filter in electronic system and current technology used in active filter. So the first one, suitable to control the input and output impedance of an electronic system. Second one, important to attenuate unwanted frequency noise. The last one is used to block high pitches cannot be efficiency broadcast, remove high frequencies, via low pass filter, remove low frequency and high pass filter. I will explain about the current technology used in active filter in communication system. Active filter are used to reduce noise, isolate a signal transmission from other set, other channel, enhance the distribution message signal from a modulated signal. Arrangement of electronic components that allow only those electric waves flying within a certain range of band of frequency to pass and block all others. Optical material can be reproduced with very narrow bandwidth or with broader bandwidth. In speaker, prevent signal of specific frequency range from getting through a particular speaker depending on designated frequency for a speaker. Use in ECG, high and low frequency interference overlap the frequency range of the ECG signal. Theory about fourth order band pass filter, which is a uh, band bandwidth of band pass band filter equation. First one, the low cut off and high cut off point for a band pass filter, H equal to one over two pi RC, center frequency FC equal to square root of FL times FH, damping factor three minus A V naught. Then, last but not least, for a uh, fourth normalized domination polynomials in vector form, n equal to four. So that's all for me. Thank you. Good day, doctor. My name is Professor Sanat Nanan. For this project, but I'm going to explain about the design calculation. There is four part in this calculation. The first part is A, high pass filter. Second part is B, low pass filter. The third part uh, is C, the gain. And the fourth part is the quality factor. The damping factor that we used uh, according to the formula is df equals to 2k which is equals to 3 minus abo because we use the fourth uh, normalized denomination poly polynomials uh, the n equals to 4 so the df first df is 0 0.765 and second df is 1.8485 the ab01 is 2.23 2.235 and ab02 is 1.152 the first part i pass filter uh, the gain formula is A equals to 1 plus RF over RA. So we assume that the value of resistor A1 and resistor A2 is 10 kilo ohm. We use the given resistor value that we assume. We can find the value of RF1 and RF2. And then using uh, using the low cutoff frequency that given to us, the formula is FL equals to 1 over 2 pi RC. And the given value of FL is 1 kilo ohm. So we assume that R, uh, the value of R1 and R2 is uh, 33k and by calculate we get the value of C1 equals to 4.823 nanofarad and C1 equals to C2. For the part B, we calculate for the calculate, uh, we calculate for the low cutoff frequency and same, same uh, formula that we use in part A. And here we assume that RB1 and RB2 equals to 10 kilo ohm to find the value of RF3 and RF4. We insert it into the calculation to the formula of I cutoff frequency. High cutoff frequency is 10 kilo ohm. We assume that the value of R3 and R4 is 3.3 kilo. We get the value of C3 equals to C4 equals to 4.4823 nanofarad. And for the part C, we find the gain, which is the given uh, gain value is 80. So to find the overall AT, to get the value of AB05, the total AB which we get 12.07. RF, we assume that 12 kilo ohm. To find the value of RA, RA value which is 1.084. And to find the value of FC, which is the center of frequency, we use the formula FC equals to square root of FL times with FH. And we get the value of 3.162 kilohertz. And for the bandwidth, we use the formula B equals to F. Uh, high frequency minus a low frequency and we get the value 9k again for bandpass uh, find the value in db 
So the value in dB is 38.0618. Quality factor, we use the formula of Q equals to FC of say high frequency minus a low frequency, get the value of 0 0.35133. Good morning, doctor. My name is Lo Chen Yi. Here I want to present the next part, which is start from component list of circuit, uh, circuit diagram. So to design a fourth order bandpass filter circuit, some components is needed, which is operations uh, amplifier, resistor, and capacitor. The left part is the wire and the ground. Uh, in this circuit design, we use the five operations amplifier. So the first two amplifier is act as the high pass filter. So and the uh, low cutoff frequency is set in the 1 kHz. So in this table, it shows the parameter value of the components. In this table, it shows the second two opera uh, operations amplifier. These two amplifier is act as the low pass filter. So the high cutoff frequency is set in the 10 kHz. So same, the, uh, this table is show the parameter value of the components that we use. The next part is the non inverting amplifier, which is amplifier 05U5. So use these amplifiers is, is because to achieve the mean gain, which is 80. So this is the value that we get. So the next part is the figure that the design of circuit insulation software, which is NI marketing. So this is the result that we get from the simulation. So now we can go to the software uh, NI marketing to show the result. So this is the calculations result. So in the upper table shows the comparisons between the theoretical result and simulation result with the percentage error. And the lower part table, which is to, this is a circuit that we built in the NM of the scene. We can run it to get the result. We can include the grapher. So this is the result that we get. We can use the crosses to show the frequency value. Since our central frequency is uh, we can get it is 3.162 kilohertz so we can adjust it under 3.16 now we can get the gain is 38.3320 so since the theory said that the low cutoff and high cutoff frequency uh, is can minus 3 db so we can adjust it until 35 around 35.3320 so now we can get the result is 1.0504 kilohertz for the low cutoff frequency same the high cutoff frequency we can find it to adjust the gain is 35.3 around it so we can get the frequency high cutoff frequency is 10.0013 kilohertz so we're back to the slide now we can continue to the hardware conne uh, connections so this is the figure that we show the hardware Commissions. So here is the result for testing with waveform generator and oscilloscope. So for the central frequency, we can get a get a kilohertz is 3.162 kilohertz, and the low cutoff frequency we set it uh, one kilohertz. So we can get the result is 27 volts, and high cutoff we set the frequency is 10 kilohertz. So with the value is 27.4 volts. So this is the graph result for gain against frequency kilo, uh, kilohertz unit. So this is the result that we get for the graph which is gain against frequency with plotting. So this uh, for the red line, can, this is the result that minus 3 dB for, to find the low cutoff and high cutoff frequency. So this is the calculations result. In the upper table shows the comparisons between the theoretical result and simulation result with the percentage error. In the lower part table, it shows the comparison between the theoretical result and experiment result with the percentage error. So we can see that the percentage error of the experiment result is higher compared with the simulation result and the theoretical result. So the next part is the comparison between the simulation result and the experiment result. Uh, we can see that the simulation result is more closer with the theoretical result compared with experiment result. So the next part is analysis and discussion. So after we get the result, we can see that 
the result have a slightly difference compared to the theoretical and the simulations results because there will be some error commitment during the experiment such as random error, systemic error and percentage error which will produce unreliable results and the second is the oscilloscope and the waveform generator used in the lab experiment could also have an impact on the uh, result third part is the result will also be impacted by instrument er error environment error and procedural error so to lower the experiment percentage error some error must be avoided during the experiment so for the last is the conclusions in this experiment project uh, some simple calculation is done with the specifications given by, based on the normalized uh, denominator linomial in the factorial form so the results are also verified by using the software which is the NI multisim software so some manual calculations are done and a circuit, uh, circuit diagram is draw based on the calculations in NI multisim so the hardware implement is carried out based on the design circuit diagram and the hardware testing is then connected in the laboratory and the input and output waveform of the waveform is successfully shown by oscilloscope and the last is the simulations and experiment result is acceptable which is the percentage range is around 0.71 to 28% so that's all for us thank you